There's no doubt that soft plastics are the most productive lures for jigging rockfish in the Chesapeake Bay, but there are significant differences in the kinds of soft plastics on the market. Here's how to choose. When choosing a soft plastic lure, there are three basic considerations. They are design, composition, and size. First, let's look at design. Most soft plastics are designed to look like bait fish or other natural prey, so they have an elongated design. Some are made to be jigged along, while others are designed for a steady retrieve. Many lures have straight tails, while others are curly or have a built-in paddle. In most cases, I prefer straight tail jigs because they're more versatile and they allow the angler to have more control of the action. Paddle tail lures are useful when you need the lure to move immediately when it hits the water and to show action as it falls through the water. They're also good for when you're just casting and retrieving like in shallow water presentations. The next consideration is size. This is almost always a match the hatch situation. Choose lures that are the closest in size to the natural bait that the fish you're targeting are eating. I usually start with 5 or 6 inch lures, then move to longer ones when I find bigger bait or bigger fish. The profile of the bait is also important, and it's true that bigger lures usually catch bigger fish. It pays to experiment, and I very frequently try to move fish up to the next longest size whenever I get on a nice school. When there are really big fish around, I frequently cast lures that are 10 inches long or even longer. The third consideration is composition. The combination of polymers the lure is made of can make a big difference because different brands have varying degrees of pliability and buoyancy. Some lures sink faster than others while still other brands float. A good example of floating lures are Z-Man products made from a rubber composite they call Elaztec. The degree of buoyancy changes the lure's pitch as it moves through the water, even when using heavy jig heads. Floating soft plastics are generally better when fish are suspended, while sinking lures are best when fish are relating to the bottom. Elaztec lures are also stretchier and less likely to be bitten into by bluefish or other toothy fish. There's also a lot to be said for using soft plastic lures that are designed locally here in the Chesapeake region because they're made specifically for the kind of jigging that we're most likely to do. In future episodes of the Chesapeake Minute, we'll look at specific soft plastic presentations. For now, let's go fishing. Mm -hmm.